Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Today we're going to be doing Talente Southern Butter Pecan Gelato, screenshot, snapshot, thumbnail, whatever. Uh, today is also the one year, kind of tomorrow, September 7th, uh, is the one year anniversary of our show. So thank you so much for, whew, still hot in here. Uh, good, good, good. Continuing to tune in, telling your friends, telling your family, eating ice cream with us every week. You guys have helped us out exponentially, and it really, really uh, helps my show grow. Party and Matt's ice cream show comment section, uh, because without you guys, this show would literally, not to be cliche, be nothing. So, as I said, we're going to be doing gelato. Gelato is a little bit meltier than usual. It's typically served at a uh, lower temperature anyway, so this will work. Yeah. Not gonna work with me? Okay. Yeah. It's a little bit warmer in here. Mm. Yeah. Gelato is typically known to be a little denser, less fat, but more flavor centric. This has a very, very butter pecan taste right, right away. So, uh, heat advisory here. A little bit warm in this room, but I wanted to look nice and pretty for you because it's our one year anniversary. For Matt's Ice Cream Show, yeah, 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 we done done it, guys. We did it one year and many more left to go. So, like I said, also today is Labor Day. That is a, in America, I'm not sure if other countries have a Labor Day, but that is um, a celebration of the American worker, their economic sacrifices and their sacrifices in general, all they've done for this country, for this great country of America. So happy Labor Day, everybody. For the calorie conscious crowd, three servings of 310, 310 calories. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's 930 calories. If I am, put it down in the comments and let me know, because I know you will. Haters, no, but seriously, uh, you will. <laughs> but gelato is a little different, as I said before. It's a little, uh, a little less fat, a little bit more flavor centric. Um. I like it. I'm a big fan of I'm a big fan of Talente. They have a lot of really quality flavors. I actually got this flavor one because it's a bit unique, but two, it's kind of an, um, an ode, if you will, paying homage to my grandmother. Uh, that was actually the first episode we did. If you'd like to see that episode, you can look here. Hopefully, we'll put it up. Check out the very first episode. Eventually, I think we'll probably be reviewing that episode, re-eating that ice cream from Hagen Dazs, the butter pecan ice cream. Like I said, that's why I chose the pint of Southern Butter Pecan Gelato, kind of an ode to her, paying homage to how fantastic she was to me and my family. But uh, yeah, Labor Day started. Whew. A little warm, guys. A little warm. Labor Day started. Originally, it was like, um, I believe 1882. Let's see. Yeah, 1882. Uh, there, I guess there's some dispute who actually started it. However, uh, in New York City, they had the first Labor Day. Uh, celebration in 1894, President Grover Cleveland signed a law into order stating that every first Monday of September from there on out would be considered Labor Day, a holiday to celebrate the American worker. Whew. It's really, really hot in here. I should have left my fan on like I did the first episode. That's why it sounded so bad. Can you do it? So, right away, uh, this is kind of creamy. Maybe not so reminiscent of, of gelato, but in general. You can see the peanuts, or not peanuts, pecans, as where I'm from, is butter pecan down south. It's butter pecan, I guess, everywhere else. Um, The butter part, I guess you would say, it's a little lacking in this particular um, kind kind of gelato. I think I got some hair on here. Um, on the outside, of course, it's a little bit lacking. Uh, however, the pecans are, it's, it's quality. I mean, look, you're not going to go wrong with Talente, in my opinion. It's a little expensive. But overall, it's really, really good. Let's see, what else is in this? Creamy, buttery gelato with roasted pecans and swirls of our signature Dolce de Leche. 
believe you can see it right here. Yeah. Wow, well, got some hair on there. Got a haircut recently, and like I said, the guy who did it, he's okay, but back here, back here, besides the fact I'm going bald, he didn't. He cut it in a way that doesn't really comb over really well. I'm trying to get a good comb over. Um, the Dolce de Leche swirl throughout is fantastic. Like, in my opinion, it's the best part about this particular uh, gelato version of butter pecan. That really makes this excellent. The actual ice cream or gelato itself, it's not that bad. I would say the uh, the pecans or pecans are, uh, they're a little dull in taste. I think maybe that's to offset the, the sweetness of the Dolce de Leche because this Dolce de Leche is super sweet comparatively to a lot of other Dolce de Leches I've had. Um... I know a lot of you are big fans of Dolce de Leche. You guys can go check out that episode too. It's been pretty popular. It's definitely pretty good. Kind of plowing through it because it's nice and melty like I like it. I'm actually not that big of a fan of pecans. Anybody else like pecans or don't like pecans? Put it on the comments below and let me know. Also, who's had Talente before? But who's had this specific flavor? Do you like, uh... Do you like butter pecan? Like I said, it was one of my grandma's absolute favorite. So... I felt like I need to try it again. Soon I will, like I said, be re-reviewing the, uh original butter pecan from haagen and I'll try to find other brands as well. So one thing I wanted to bring up before I go for creators or people who are thinking about starting YouTube, because I've noticed recently a lot of people who started last year or the year before, um, I see a lot of burnout and I'm just going to give you guys some advice for, as, from a producer's perspective and also somebody who's been doing this for a while as well. Um, Something that rate may really help you out if you want to do this. Uh, there's two things. One, first and foremost, just start. You're not going to be good at this. You know, you're going to make mistakes. If I look back at some of my earlier episodes, they're atrocious comparatively to now. And I'm sure I'll look back in a few years and be like, Ew, what was I doing then? you got to get better as you go. You edit, you make adjustments as you go. You have a plan and, and, and see where you're going along the way. But... You can't expect to be perfect, so pra make, do a few practice runs and then just start putting out your stuff on a regular basis. People are going to like it, they're not going to like it. Just keep moving forward with a positive attitude. But the biggest thing, uh, in my opinion, overall, as far as doing a show, or one of the biggest things, you need a healthy backlog because you're going to get burnt out sometimes. Sometimes you're going to be depressed, you're going to be too busy, you're going to have a lot of other things uh, happening. Having a good backlog of episodes, 5, 10, 15, 20, however many, will allow you to take breaks. You can sprinkle in new episodes as you go, kind of keep the audience up to date. But you'll always have something to show them once a week or a few times a month or once a month or how many times you do that. Because eventually, if you're not putting out work, I mean, your loyal fans will stay, but people will just forget about you. And, you know, if that's what you want to do as a hobby, go for it. But if you're trying to do this as, like, long-term, make some money off of it, potentially be a career... I highly suggest having a healthy backlog of episodes because it allows you to take breaks. It allows you to do other things and live a life outside of this without having to do it like a few days before or the week before, rushing it into, into production, putting out sloppier work. So that's just my personal opinion. Maybe that'll help some of you creators um, do better and not be burnt out so much because I realize this it, it doesn't seem that hard, but it's a lot more work than, than, than I would think most people would realize. So... Yeah, guys, on a scale of 1 to, um, so hopefully that helped, but on a scale of 1 to 100, 10-point grading scale, A, B, C, D, no E, I just spell everywhere, F. Um, I'm going to give this, for a gelato, and for the quality of gelato that it is, I 
I give it like an 83, 84. Um, I'm personally not a huge fan. I don't dislike it, but I think butter pecan pecans without the pecans would be better. Personally, I, I just like the butter part. This butter pecan butter ice cream, a little lacking. I think it could be a little sweeter. The Dolce de Leche is a great touch to it. But honestly, the pecans kind of take it, for me, kind of take away from everything. And I realize that's the point, is to have everything in there together. But personally, I'm not a huge fan of that. I could go without that. Do they make just a butter ice cream? I don't know. I'm going to look for it. Put it in all the comments and let me know if they do or they don't. Also, suggest some other brands that make great butter pecan ice cream, and I'll definitely try them in the future. And while you're there, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and press that notification button. And what did you think about the last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out the last ice cream. See if you can find it. Try it. Put it down in the comments of that video. Thank you guys for continuing to, for continuing to watch me sweat. Listen to me ramble ammo when I eat ice cream. If you can go find this, see if you can find it, try it, put it down in the comments below. Let me know, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, it is really, really good uh, in, in regards to gelato. It's just a, a personal thing with me. I'm not a huge fan of uh, butter pecan. Nothing against the brand, nothing against it. It's just one of my, my personal things. So like I said, I'd give it like a 83, 84. So I, would, I would say a solid B, but I think that's probably a more like a B minus range. Um, but yeah, go try it if you can. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for one year. And if you're watching it tomorrow, which will be today for you, uh, it is September 7th. And if it's not, it's actually September 6th. So I'm going to keep moving forward because I'm rambling. But uh, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, this past year has been great. It's been a great experience. Uh, you guys' engagement, your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, they help me out so much. Put comments down below. Um, let me know what you want to see. If you're on YouTube, find us on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, check us out on YouTube. Thank you so much. Tell your friends, tell your family, come eat ice cream, gelato, frozen custard, and all the ice cream world has to offer every week. And I will get it down.